and welcome to today's vlog. In fact, I'm not even going to say it's good afternoon. I don't even know why I say good afternoon because it's not afternoon, it is night time. And it's not yesterday because it's today. The day after today, yesterday, if you know what I mean. Anyway, thought I'd check in. We didn't vlog anything yesterday because I'll just give you a little rundown of what was going on. So, as you know, I've been taking these out iron tablets for nearly three weeks now. And last night, I had the most horrendous stomach ache you could ever imagine. Seriously, I thought I was going to need to go to the hospital. And I had the same pain the night before. I don't know what it was. I don't remember if it was because I'd taken the tablet too late. And obviously, I had a bit of an empty stomach. So... I'm not too sure whether it was just because I slept with it, because it seems to do it if I take it after a certain time, and then I get real bad stomach cramps, excuse me. But yeah, anyway, yesterday, we did plan to get up and start vlogging really early, but it just didn't turn out like that. So, as you know, Aurora has been poorly for the last, say, couple of weeks with a cold and a flu and stuff, and obviously... She's had checkups with like the health visitor and the doctor and everything and she's she'd been fine. Um but over the last week she's just got worse. So even her inhaler wasn't working and the norofen wasn't working and the cowpole just seriously just started to not work. So we decided to make an appointment, get to the doctors, get a checked over, make sure everything was okay. So when we left the house, Aurora was just jumping around like a bubbly little two-year-old, you know, as normal as ever, and no temperature or nothing. And then when we got into the doctors, Penelope decided that she wanted to let the temperature literally go like rocket high. So the nurse had actually, when we got in there, the nurse had felt her head and her body and she said, Oh, she don't feel like she's got a temperature, does she? But we'll check it anyway. And then when they checked the temperature, it was 39.5. 39.5. And I was like, oh my goodness. So she said, I can't let you leave the doctors with a temperature that high because she can go into um, seizure. So when the temp when a baby's temperature gets so high, Chelsea used to have exactly the same thing. If her temperature went past a certain, certain height, then she'd start kind of fitting that's they say that that's quite normal for babies to do that but sometimes it can be dangerous so they prefer to like monitor and make sure that the um temperature is coming back down so luckily enough dave was outside and usually they have like cowpole or medicine on um at the doctor's but they didn't have any left and obviously because of covid and everything they've not anybody in so they've not needed it which is understandable so luckily enough Dave was outside so I just asked him to nip into the chemist next door pick some more cowpole up and gave her that and then we had to stay there it did start coming down but it didn't start coming down for about 45 minutes so by the time we got out the doctor I think we got in there at like quarter to 12 and by the time we got out it was around half one ish something like that but yeah so Yesterday, she was just under the weather, but then kind of, what's the word, like, I don't know, going a little bit hyperactive again. Um, but then as soon as we got the medicine, because we couldn't pick the medicine up till three o'clock until the doctor had signed the prescription, and it was going to be like free before she could get like the first dose of antibiotic inside her. So we picked that up and I think she had like a first one at half three. And what I did was, because I was going to try and give her all three before she went to bed, but I just thought that would be a little bit too much. So I gave her one at three and then I gave her one at seven just before she went to bed. And even just giving her that first dose was like just a different baby. They were going to put her on steroids because when they checked her chest, well, when they checked her chest, she couldn't hear anything, but when she checked the back of her chest, she said she could hear, um, like, ruffling, which is, like, liquid on the back of the lungs, and that's usually something that comes with with asthma and, you know, just the condition. So, 
anyway but she managed to cough and then it cleared so she was like i'm not too sure whether to give her the steroids or not and i personally would prefer to use them as a last option just because there's so many um downfalls with having like them kind of tablets and steroids are just i mean steroids can put a lot of weight on babies like unnecessary weight i remember um put well Portia used to have them when she was younger because uh, she got diagnosed with they never usually diagnose a child with asthma until like the age of two but Portia was so bad that they had no choice that from the age of i think she was seven weeks they diagnosed her with asthma but what they did was they just um, diagnosed her with a slight form and then they reviewed it when she got to one year old and then they said then because she'd had so many chest infections and she was so poorly with it um i need to stop saying her that it was definitely asthma so she was on steroids up until being around maybe five six before her asthma started like easing a little bit and as you know now like she doesn't well she didn't suffer with her asthma as much where she is starting to suffer with it a little bit again now i don't know whether that's just the weather or the fact that we've been in lockdown which i did speak to the nurse about and she said it has been it, like a lot of people have picked up with their asthma um over the last 12 months just because they've been sat around not been doing anything and everyone's been in lockdown so it's just been a bit of a pain so she said we'll try and get on top of it now and hopefully in the next 12 months you'll notice like a difference and she probably won't need to use them again um but i'll tell you about that in a minute I'll carry on with aurora um so they checked her chest and they were going to give her these steroids and then i said that i would rather um try and avoid them for the time being and just go with the antibiotic so they put her on amoxicillin she's got that for five days and then she'll have a review and have a chest checked and see like if the cold and the flu started going and then hopefully if it has everything will be fine which i, I do think that it will be fine because it, like i said even just giving her that first dose i know they say that amoxicillin doesn't work straight away but i think because aurora's not really had any medication since she was younger and we don't really give her like paracetamol or anything unless it's absolutely necessary which isn't really that often um i think it's kind of worked quicker because it's been something that she's needed rather than you know trying to give a calpol or um eye briefing or whatever so anyway we gave her that and then obviously like after an hour or so it worked like instant didn't like give her the medicine and it was just better but within an hour you could just tell the difference like even like she was running around and she weren't getting us out of breath and stuff like that and then i gave her a second one and then she woke up today just so much better i mean she's still coughing but not as much and she was coughing through the night and last night she didn't cough at all after having the amoxicillin so that's a bonus and then today she's still had sniffles and she's coughed a little bit through the day but apart from that she's been more or less fine so fingers crossed she's on the mend and then we also got Porsche in because I did mention this in the vlog the other day that Portia suffers with her a fever like all year round it is just it's seasonal she just never gets rid of it it's like every morning every night but it started getting to a point where it was affecting her going to bed affecting her in school and it's only been this bad probably since i'd say about two months ago i mean it worked really bad but it, the last week has picked up more and more, especially in school. And I don't know whether that's just because the pollen's high or... I never really check it, to be honest, and maybe I should. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of start getting a little bit worse in school. So anyway, that's all sorted now. We managed to get... They've put her on a new hay fever tablet. They've put her on a hay fever spray, which is a nasal spray. They've also gave her um, a brown inhaler and a blue inhaler. So she's got to have them. But she's got to take the brown one. 
Excuse me, I'm so tired. She's got to take the brown one through, um, I forget what they're called now, but it's like the plastic mask that baby has. She's got to take that through that just because of her age. Um, they want it to get to her lungs quicker and more effectively, whereas if you're spraying it in the mouth, it just all gets clogged at the back of your throat and you're not really taking it in. So the nurse does advise that, you know, first thing in the morning, last thing before she goes to bed to take that through that so she doesn't have to take it to school or anything but it's just important that she does that in the morning although we got to the chemist tonight and i said to him i hope you've done both prescriptions she's like yeah yeah quite a few things here blah 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 then it gets home stupidly enough it didn't check while i was there gets home and she's not put a hay fever nasal spray in it so we're gonna have to hope and pray that the chemist is open in the morning but if not she's got she's obviously got the tablet so she she can just use them till monday or until when we can get there but yeah I keep yawning sorry i'm so tired like i didn't sleep at all last night and then obviously aurora's been up the last couple of nights i really need to say stop saying seriously obviously but yeah she's just been up last kind of three or four nights i mean she has settled but not properly she does what it cuddles and stuff so and it's just really hard to sleep i find it really hard to sleep especially when your kids are ill and i will just be like seriously i'm like inspector morse i'll be like over the cot looking over like that all night and dave will say can you just go to sleep? You're doing me head and keep getting up and down. And it's like, no, I need to just keep... I think it's because I'm more paranoid about her breathing. And when she... Aurora has this thing where she'll go to sleep, but she'll breathe really quietly. And when you go up to her, you actually think she's stopped breathing. So I'm like this all night through the cot, making sure I can hear her breathing. So I just end up not sleeping. And then when I do fall asleep, it's time to go... But yeah, anyway, I thought I'd just let you know why we didn't vlog yesterday. So we just wanted to keep an eye on Aurora and just make sure she was okay. I was just trying to get on top of everything like doctors, dentist and everything else because obviously Oscar is due to go back to the dentist soon. So I, I needed to sort that out to find out like what's going to be going on because he's got to have, excuse me, I feel so rude. He's got to have an operation to have his fangs pulled down. And we still just can't work out why his fangs haven't grown. We just, even the dentist said like it's so rare for somebody's fangs not to grow. But because I do, I kind of do understand why. Because I don't know every, a lot of you would have watched many of the vlogs. And when he went to the dentist a couple of years ago, they did say, in fact it was probably quite a while ago now um they did say that he had too many teeth so instead of like we have two sets of teeth he had three sets of teeth but upper teeth were trying to grow between his teeth which is was just a nightmare so they don't know whether it's kind of got sandwiched between the others growing and mistaken it's really hard to explain so say you had two a top teeth that are next to your fangs I think it's mistaken them and let them come down and not the fangs so anyway what they're going to do is they're going to move it's really amazing how they do it they put him to sleep cut his gums move all his teeth back pull his fangs down stitch all back up done and yeah anyway the surgeon that would be doing it is like there's only two of the there's only two of these surgeons in the whole of the world that do this kind of surgery and it's just meant to be amazing and i've seen like some of his work that he does and it's just out of this world like you would never ever have thought these people like people you wouldn't think it but people lose baby teeth and don't get their adult teeth and these doctors pull them out like because they're just stuck in the gums pull them out and you would never have thought that they didn't have any teeth there it's just amazing what you can do but yeah, anyway, like I said, I just wanted to check in because I didn't want to, I just, I felt really like low this morning, not low, like 
depressed and stuff but I just felt annoyed that I hadn't vlogged yesterday but I think it's only right that when your kids are ill you know they're your main priority and you put the camera down and look after them although I feel like I put this camera down quite a few times this week but I have been trying to keep you guys updated even if we're not vlogging um I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I can share with you well there is quite a few things um but I will be doing a video a very touchy video um I've not quite decided whether I'm going to do it yet, but I think it's about time that, you know, I started opening people's eyes to the way some people treat other people. And, yeah, and by the way, this isn't by any way directed at Sarah Ringham. Not at all. It's nothing to do with her. Let's just say it's a close family member and, you know, it's just got to a point now where it's, it just needs dealing with. So, I'm talking about. So, I think that's what I plan to do. But anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you because... Oh, I have got one other thing to tell you. The boys now have their beds. I was going to take you up to show you, but then that would spoil it, wouldn't it? But they look amazing. I might even just take you up. Gonna feel a bit tight because we didn't do a vlog yesterday. I think it's only right that I share something with you in it. So I might just take you up real quickly and yeah, you can see the boys' beds. And then we'll do I'm only giving you a quick look, I'm not showing you everything, but I will do a proper like tour once I've sorted everything out. But the bedroom just looks like a tip. In fact, do you know what? Dave usually makes the biggest mess. And for once he actually didn't so I can't I can't even mull yet there was the bags off the stuff but apart from that everything else was tidy he hadn't messed any, anything up usually when Dave walks in a room he moves every single thing and I really don't get why he does it but it's like if you clean a kitchen once Dave walks in it's like he's pulled everything out of the cupboards I don't know why he he's the messiest if he's cooking every pan plate knife and fork spoon you name it they all come out the cupboard when i'm cooking i'll use something and wash it and carry on using it or if i'm not going to use something again it's in the dishwasher dave will just pile it all up in the sink and then he'll do the dishwasher later on it's like why why do that empty the dishwasher put all the clean pots away and then you've got an empty space there to not make a mess in the kitchen but I suppose some men just don't think like us do they so anyway like I said I'm going to love you and leave you I'm going to take you upstairs show you quickly at the boys beds and then I'll see you guys tomorrow but yeah I hope you're all having a lovely evening oh, and even had a lovely day I can't believe that the weather turned out as nice as it has today it was meant to throw it down and we had sun, so we can't complain anyway, can we? So, I'll see you soon. Let's go upstairs, see these beds, see what you think. Okay, it's a little bit dark in here. Obviously, I've not made the beds or anything. I've just literally threw everything on just to get it all together so they can just get on it. But this is their new bed. It looks really small on the camera, but it isn't. So, you've got little drawers in here and you've got a drawer under the bed but you can use the storage under the bed as well and then have got shelves up here alfie's already got sticky balls on there <laughs> and then they've got the new bedding which is call of duty and it just it'll look really nice once it's finished obviously there is still stuff that needs to go we need to sort all of the drawers out we need to oscar pulled this off so we need to glue this back on you know but this is real life this is what kids do but yeah and then i've got to put new clothes away we need to get rid of all the school books and stuff like that they all need to go and then they've got the new computer units one is going to be going here they're go that's going to be moved i'm not too sure whether i'm going to have one on this side one on the other side or whether i'm going to move them both onto the other side i've not quite decided yet and then oscar is going to have his computer unit like that way 
there's also um, a little storage unit under here as well, which is really good. I think this one, I on the picture, I'm sure this part moved as well. So I can't understand why it's not. It is supposed to. <laughs> Unless Dave's put them the wrong way around, which wouldn't surprise me. But I'm sure one of them was meant to move. But anyway, I hope you like it. Obviously, we still need to finish this paint. I'm going to do carry on with that tomorrow. There's still some stuff up here I need to take down. But by the end of the week, hopefully this bedroom will look incredible. I'm going to get. I'm going to take them down. I'm going to put them somewhere else. I'm going to get them a big PlayStation sign to go up here. Um, in fact, I forgot to tell you, this wall we are eventually stripping it, and the guy that's doing Dave's tattoo. It's coming to spray this wall. It's going to be all Call of Duty. And, well, it's going to be mixed between, between Call of Duty and Fortnite, I think. I'm not too sure, but I just know that it's going to do like a mixture and it's just going to look real good. So, like a graffiti wall of it. So, I'm excited for him to come and do that. He said if we just buy the paint, he'll come and do it because he can use it as like pictures for his work page. And, yeah. I don't think he's ever done it before, so it's something new to put on his page. But that won't be being done probably nearer to Christmas, maybe just after Christmas. We've not quite decided, and I know he's really busy. So, and then we're going to order some blinds for here to cover these windows because they've still not been out to fix them. And we've just noticed and worked out that there is now a leak underneath there. Oh, it's going blurred. We've just worked out that there is a leak underneath this beam up here in the corner which i'm not too impressed about so yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here looking at this amazing view like who would not just dream of having a bedroom window that looks like this especially in musla because you won't get that view in musla but yeah anyway i'm gonna end the vlog here and just say good night to everybody but yeah Love you all, and I will see you tomorrow.